Hello everybody, this is Intuitive Retta. How are you doing today? Make sure you subscribe, uh, subscribe, hit the bell button, comment below, and also like this video. This is going to be part two about Biden, Afghan, and Harris. Oh my. So uh, it looks like Harris, this has been planned for her to be, it was in the plans for her to be president. It looks like it. Is it the time? I don't know. I'm still seeing August. Maybe it could be this August or next August or in eight months. Uh, let's see. Now let's go to Biden. How we all knew that this was all planned. I wish you guys would have asked some questions. Okay, so we know that the Taliban that was part of their payment is the military equipment. Okay. And we know that Biden thinks this is a success. What's next for Biden? A lot of fighting and chaos. A lot of fighting. Was this way, because we all know that the military industrial com uh, um, complex never wanted to get out of wars. They want, we've already been in Afghan for 20 years. You know, um, they even lied, the military lied to uh, Trump about how many troops were there and about removing troops and so forth. So, this looks like the fighting. Like, this is ego money. This is all selfish reason to cause chaos and fighting. Um, is this to keep us, to keep us in... Let me just see. I need some. I'm pull these. Just let me know some more information on this. Whoops. We need to look at that closely. The fighting that's going on. The infighting, the fighting. This is also as a bridge. This is also as a bridge, I guess, maybe to keep the fight in and to kind of remove the crown. To remove the crown. To remove. So are they going to stay in Afghanistan? Are we going to actually stay in there? It looks like we're going to actually stay in Afghanistan or more people are going to go or our services is going to go. I think that this, I don't think we're actually going to get out of Afghanistan. It looks like we are, but I don't think so. Um, this is, it's chaos. This was done on per, like, it's, this was all planned. Okay. Is the Taliban going to do something to keep us in Afghanistan? What is our goal? What is not our goal, but what is the globalist goal in Afghanistan? Yes, the stockpiling. They're, they, you know, of course they're going to do something. Um, what is the globalist goal? They're just waiting. They're buying their time to go back. It's money to be made. You know, what is the globalist goals? Look at, they're waiting around. They're waiting. They want forces to go in. They don't want there to be a choice. It's the same cards going over and over again. They're waiting for it. They're waiting for it. Is the Taliban really expecting America to leave.
Oops. I want to do this one too. Whoops. So expect this is a distraction from a lot of shit that's going on at home. So they're using Afghan um, as a distraction for all the stuff that they're going to continue to do with us. Look at right now, New York, New York City. I'm in New York State. I'm upstate. But they've got them down in New York City wanting to, you know, mandate passports, this and that. Um, I know that shit better not come up here because I'm not complying. It is supposed to. They know. Th this is a partnership. You know how like they said we created the Al-Qaeda? This is like a partnership between them, the Taliban, and us, or our globalists, or that. It's a partnership. We gave them as part of payment the military and we're going to still give them stuff to stockpile food maybe ammunition this and that they don't really expect us to to to, to really leave they might this is a like a forever war if we do actually get out by the 31st we're going back in um and they're using this to distract us from everything at home They're waiting. This was planned. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. It, 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 they're waiting to fight some more. Um, what does Americans right now? What does Americans right now think of Biden and what's he doing? And how he's doing things. People are focusing, which is crazy. People are focusing on the economy. They're also focusing on like the weapons and, and stuff that was given. They're focused on material things. So right now the Americans are focused on our material wealth. Maybe like inflation, money their belongings but they're also focused on the materials that were left in Afghanistan people the American public right now's temperament is like up and down up and down up and down and people are starting to you know there's no plans formed or anything like that but people are starting to talk you know people are are are, are just talking there's no plan people are like talking and they're you know, there's no real plan, so it's not like there's any plans for anything like Americans rising up or anything, but there's a lot of talking. People are using their words as weapons. Um, not so much of, of a plan, just, you know, talking maybe on social media and, and, and to each other, like, what the hell, this and that. Um, so our, oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see the moon car. So and they feel like things are being hidden. They they feel like things are being hidden. Also, a lot of Americans, funny enough, keep talking about distractions. A lot of Americans think things are being hidden. Maybe distractions. Maybe this is just a big illusion. People are still focusing on their cash, their their monetary, and their tempers are up and down. Um, what else can we uh? What does the majority of Americans feel about Camilla? <laughs> Camilla causes people anxiety and stress. They're like, oh no. They're like, oh no, oh no, um, and and also they think it's, uh, you know, um, they think that she has a plan to get what she wants. Basically, you know how we call her heels up, Camille. That's kind of what they, 
you know, um, she always has a plan to kind of get what she wants financially, you know, she'll do what she needs to do to get what she wants, basically. Um, but the American public's like, oh my god. Um, uh, let's see. What is Congress and the Senate? What is Washington doing while we're distracted? I know they said that they were stealing. Everybody's stealing. What is why we're distracted? They're just talking to the talking. There's tempers, and what's funny is it's the junior members. So the junior members probably not so much the ones the ones that there's more energy for like. The junior members of Congress and in the Senate, um, their their emotions are up and down. Um, some of them are just reacting. Some of them want to just go in and fight. Um, what are they doing? They they feel like they're fighting. A lot of them feel like they're fighting with their words, you know. Um, but they don't really have a plan, so they're just doing this out of passion or reactionary. It's not so much plan. Everything. So even these bills or whatever they're arguing about is it's just reactionary um whatever there, there's no plans going on whatever they're talking is reactionary and their emotions so they're not even even skilled in in just like how the american people are in balance it's like in washington dc the senate the congress it's in balance it's like their emotions are all over the place um what does, I, I never even looked to see what Nancy Pelosi is. So let's see, what does Nancy Pelosi think of Biden? <laughs> she doesn't think he can do this either. She thinks it's complete chaos. So no matter what she's saying... She doesn't see him as, you know, viable. No matter what she's saying, she thinks it's kind of complete chaos that, you know, everything is burning down around them. Um, what does she think about, what does she think about Harris? She has a plan with Harris. There's a partnership. You know, there's a partnership there. Um, I think that there's an agreement there. They kind of, you know, there's a partnership there. So, does Pelosi want Biden out? I don't think she wants to, I, I, I do think, I do think she wants him out. I, I do think so. I think it's going to be a while to herself she wants him out. Um, I think it's a while and then she's going to start talking out. Like talking, I think she's, but she's not going to, her words, her words don't really mean anything. She's going to use her words and her thought as a weapon, but there's no real bang. Is she going to actively try to get, I don't think so. Um, her, temp, uh, her temperament is up and down. She can't really do anything. So she's just trying to outlive this or outgain this. I don't think she's actively going to talk against Biden at all. There's a plan between her and um, Camilla. Um, th they've had plans. There's a partnership there. Um, I think that he, her emotions are all over the place, but we won't know it. Um, she thinks, okay, we just have to get through this. She's kind of stuck. She kind of put, uh, put herself in a position where she's stuck. She can't really talk bad about him or anything. She's kind of stuck. She can't really voice her own thoughts and opinions about Biden and so forth. Um, let's see. 
So this is part two. So there's a lot of information. So maybe you guys can ask some questions and maybe we can get a part three because it just, the, the, we can get a part three. All right. So talk to you guys later. Bye.